Hey guys and welcome back to the Really Thinky Vegan. Today we are in West Haven at Georgie's Diner and we are going to try their vegan meal. I'm going to try the vegan meal. My family's going to have their regular breakfast. 2020, I didn't think I would see a pay phone. It's not bad, it's 2021, but same difference. So here's the vegan menu. And I kind of think I want this or this one. And I'm not sure if I want this. Look at my cute almond milk for my coffee. I'm excited. Hey guys, the guy, they have even another side of the vegan menu. I guess this is the brunch stuff. Now I really don't know what I want. <laughs> All right, so my sister told me that we could come back so I don't have to order everything on the menu. So I got a uh, vegan milk with, shoot, I forgot. Oh, with vegan cheese, of course, bacon and uh, avocado. And then I got uh, the vegan hash, the sweet potato one. So I'm kind of excited. And then I got toast and they make homemade jam and butter. And yes, I actually was vegan. She laughed at me and said yes, so I'm excited, can't wait. So this is my squash tofu hash with my strawberry jam, homemade, and my fruit salad. It looks good, let's see if it tastes good. Well, I guess I'm gonna try the tofu first. They actually have their tofu that has a little crunch to it. That's good. They seasoned it a little bit more. How you like it, man? It's really good. Could be seasoned just a tiny bit more, but other than that, for my first time, what, squash tofu? Don't move your really good. I'm going to try their jam before my sister wants her coffee. That looks good. That tastes really good. It's really strawberry and you definitely can tell that it's fresh and homemade. And as for my, what is it, squash stuffing or squash hot tofu, it's really good. It tastes like, it definitely gives me an egg resemblance and I really like how they got that crunch on the tofu. It's still mushy in the middle because it's tofu, but it got a nice crunch to use a little bit more seasoning, but I'll try it again. Definitely good, and I definitely will try this again. For $18, they could have gave me more um, hash, though. I'm not going to lie. It's not worth $18, but it's really good. My squash half was pretty good. A little stuff. And still don't wish it was $18. It could have been a little bit cheaper. But now my VMO or vegan VLT, I'm about to show you guys. Look how pretty. The only problem is, I'm going to tell you they use Dea's cheese <laughs> because it didn't melt. Unfortunately, Dea's cheese doesn't melt. But I definitely had um, made a sandwich, a, a grilled ham and cheese that melted. So we're going to have to show you guys. But let's see how it tastes. I got it. No, that's tempeh bacon. Tempeh bacon. I want to say that's diet cheese. They definitely could have made this crispier. Let's see. Vegan DLT. Oh, how I feel the came in my bite. Good. Okay, she posts this juicy burger up there. No. <laughs> Don't pay her no mind. My sisters are mean. They're the first ones to be after my food, but they're mean. Well, whatever type of cheese they use, it definitely does taste like the Daya. American cheese. That wasn't even recorded. Anywho, don't pay her no mind. It tastes pretty good for a BLT. Not worth ten dollars, but it tastes pretty good. You guys should come on that um Georgie's and try it. And if you do, invite me. 
I don't know. I think together it tastes good because the cheese don't taste funny. I'm not a fan of tomatoes. You don't really taste it. The avocado definitely adds flavor to it. What are you doing? But they shouldn't call it a vegan milk with my cheese is a milk there. He looks like cheese. Well, I don't know what he's doing. That's the one he's talking well, as always, thank you for tuning in with me on the Really Peaky Vegan. And if you haven't already, please like, subscribe, and bam. And thank you for tuning in with me here on the Really Peaky Vegan. And if you haven't already, please like, follow, subscribe, and share my friends, share my page with your friends because you never know who's truly interested on what else vegans can eat besides that. And look, we got diner food. Unfortunately, if you go out to eat, if you don't know how to cook vegan, you go out to eat, they're going to charge a little bit more. But that's why you got to learn how to cook. And if you stay tuned and watch, I'll teach you a few things. Till next time, bye. And if you're ever in West Haven, Connecticut, right across from the Stop and Shop on Elm Street, check them out. Georgie's Diner. They're really good.